Hi everyone, this is the another session of social science. I am Deepa here with a new topic from the unit 10. In the previous class, I taught you about the national symbols. You learned in detail about the national symbols, the names of the national symbols and what are the uh, specialities of each uh, national symbol and what are the rules we need to follow. About these you have learnt in the national symbols session. And today I am going to start the another part of this lesson that is national integration. In this let us start with the meaning of national integration. Integration means here rastriyate, oneness feeling. If we have differences among us even though we feel we are all united, we are all one. So, that feeling is called national integration and that unity we must show towards our nation. So, that it is called national integration. Here the meaning of national integration is living harmoniously without having hatred, jealousy or prejudice against the other person or other community. So, here living harmoniously, harmoniously means without hurting others. Here harmonious meaning, mean, meaning is samarasya dinda, andre obru obru jote yagi chana gidu, jivna madadi kenantivi harmoniously without hurting others and without having hatred, andre bere ona dvesha madde yelru vande ano feeling it kopegu. Jealousy, bare or bage, jealousy, jealousy and what take it chun the healthy way. Adana now in my inober bage, irbardu, jealousy irbardu. And prejudice, prejudice means purva graha peditan healthy way, pakshapata madadu. So uh, we are uh, giving more importance to one person. So looking down other other person like that, we should not do. Uh, we should not keep any prejudice uh, uh, to other person or any other community. Means we should not jealous, keep jealous on any other community or any other person. We should not hate any other person or we should not hate any other community. So, this is the meaning of national integration. Here in, and also we can say it means one respecting the other and living in amity. It means we must respect without having hatred, jealousy, we must respect each other. The person may be uh, any place, he may be speaking any language, he may be of any caste, religion, we should not see that. We, we must be like uh, friends or brothers. So, we are all Indians, we must have the feeling of uh, brotherhood feeling or we should feel that we are all Indians and here we should leave uh, we all persons in the India India or people of India we must live like a equal member of a family of nation means this India is a, if we, we have to feel India is our family our country is our family we are all uh, means uh, the people of Indians, we are all family members. How we live uh, with our family members without fighting, without uh, any hatred or jealousy, like that we must live like a uh, family. So, that is called national integration. So, here next is importance. What, uh, what is the importance of national integration? Why we need this and national integration? Because here the national integration is very necessary to create unity among the people and also to get the progress, the country progress is based on the unity of the people. If we are united, we can work together, we can work hard and we can produce more products. Then the economic condition also improves the country's economic condition also improves. So, that 
unity is very important and also uh, brotherhood feeling that comes in the national integration so that to uh, improve the country or the progress of the country the national integration is very important and here next is diversity what is diversity in Canada we call it Vividate, Vividate, Anekate and Kariti. Canada meaning in Andre Vividate, Anekate, Vividate and Telti. Differences. Here in India, if we take the example of India, in India there are uh, diversity in population, diversity in biodiversity, and uh, natural diversity are mainly we can observe. Here natural diversity means only in uh, our country there are different type of uh, nature you can observe the indian nature or uh, physiography it's not same all over the india somewhere highest mountains are there uh, plains deserts hilly areas and uh, waterfalls rivers some areas are very cold some areas are very hot like that there are diversity in nature means uh, naturally vividate ide vande rithiyada nisarga bharatadalli na nolodike sigodilla andre na ond pradeshadinda mattond pradeshak hodre climate change agutte alliro bhashe change agutte alliro culture change agutte so that even naturally india is diverse it mean uh, and even to observe the complete India, we need so many days to observe uh, natural diversity in India. We must stay, uh, we might be taking so many days to observe that. So that here in India, even we have different uh, beautiful beaches and waterfalls, very attractive waterfalls, lakes and even islands like that it has different natural diversity so this is about the natural diversity next is one more uh, type that is biodiversity biodiversity means in india there are different kinds of plants means many kinds of plants they are not same and also uh, the plants also uh, from place to place change we can observe here uh, around 47,000 groups of plants we can see in India. It is uh, imagination or uh, some uh, round figure they are giving. In your textbook also it is there you can observe. And also in India there are 90,000 spices of animals. Means 90,000 kinds of animals we can observe. And 1,232 kinds of birds are there. Different kinds of birds we can observe and 2546 groups of fishes are there fish are there so this is about the biodiversity in the biodiversity majorly you should understand plants animals birds fish about um, it means water animals like this comes under the biodiversity next is population diversity here population diversity means in india as you know in India different kinds of language we speak and even different uh, people come from different community they have different culture if you go to uh, one place to another place the culture will be changed even language and also their uh, uh, caste race religion like this they have diversity in the people even the face of the people they are physic of the people physic means appearance they look different different if you go to place to place they look very different the physic also change in our country so here this is population diversity so the next point is this is about diversity what all the diversity next is unity in diversity I told you there are different kind of 
diversities are there in India. Even though we are all feel like we are Indians, we are all one family, we have unity among us. That is called unity in diversity. The meaning of unity in diversity, the living culture of a community that has faith in different language, different race, culture, caste, religion, that is called unity in diversity. Already I told this, once again I am repeating, here India is diverse nation, it has diversity in everything, even though without uh, uh, comparing those all, we are all living like, uh, we are all Indians, we are all one family members of a nation, we feel that our family is our nation, we are all brothers and sisters and it is very important, already I told, in the progress of a country, unity is very important. So this is unity in diversity, once again I am repeating, if we have differences in everything, biodiversity, nature, natural diversity, population diversity, even though we feel we are all united, we are all Indians, that is called unity in diversity. Vividate yalli ekate, namali vividate idru kuda, nav ekate na torsko tivi. So, this is about unity in diversity. Let us move on to the another point from this lesson, this is the last point, that is factors hindering national integration. Here is uh, hindering means tondare martha kanta vishya galige na venthi hindering points. Here it is hindering on what these all points are hindering on our national integration. These all points are breaking our nation unity, affecting on our unity, our integrity. What are those points? Those are casteism, communalism and regionalism. Here firstly casteism means, casteism it is looking down upon the people of other caste, means looking down towards other caste, means they feel that it is a feeling of superiority of their own caste. We feel our own caste is superior, other caste are, we, uh, we look like they are very uh, below than us. That is one feeling among the people. And the caste is another jati paddhati, namma jati ne melu, bere or jati kila gnodo du, other na and tell tivi, jati paddhati and the karitivi. So, this is casteism also one dangerous feeling among the Indian people. It is affecting on unity or affecting on the integrity of our nation. So, this casteism is making the groups of people on the base of caste and it is breaking the unity among the people. So, it is also one of the major dangerous means hindering uh, point in the integration. Next is communalism. Communalism means it is also a feeling of superiority of one's own religion is known as communality, communalism. Means here communalism disturbs the peace, their own, their own religious community, their own community is superior, other community are, they look like in degrade. And then namde janangane hechu, bere janangagalu, now adana kilag nododu. Communalism, they will be fighting, they will be fight again uh, in between two communities, majorly it comes in Hindu and Muslim, Hindu community and Muslim community always they will be fighting. It is also one of the dangerous feeling among the people which is disturbing our unity or our integration. So we must avoid these and then only we can. Uh, attain good progress of our country. Lastly, regionalism. Here regionalism means it is the feeling of one's narrow community, uh, narrow commitment towards one's own geographical region. Here as you already know, our constitution has the federal structure of state. Means our constitution is 
uh, on the base of uh, federal structure means administration is not given to one particular group or one co particular community it is divided among the uh, different stages like uh, central go central government state government district taluks villages like this administration is divided on the base of that there are 28 states and 8 union territories and one national capital like that there are different uh, groups of states even if you move to one player one state to another state there are many changes they speak different language different culture different religion so like that uh, different physique like that many differences are there between one state to another state so here what people feel that their own geographic feature or their own geographic region is superior they feel that their own geographic region is superior like uh, we are from karnataka we are from andhra pradesh we are from tamil nadu but here that should not be there we are all indians so that is regionalism they feel their own region is superior even regionalism is also one of the bad practice among the people of india and it is the feeling of negativity it is spreading negativity among the people and also it affect on the unity of the indian people so this is about the regionalism these are the three points affecting on or hindering points on our national integration so this is about the unit 10 national symbols and national integration so this is the last point and let's meet in the next video of the social science till then keep watching videos thank you